Hello, everybody. Welcome back to this nonsense. Uh, the last time we played... You know, I, I don't even remember anymore. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember at the time, every time we play this. I don't ever remember what the fucking last part was because I find myself finding it harder and harder to give a shit. We're on the shark test. Uh, last time we did the lizard test, which was actually kind of nice. Uh, it was a nice kind of a puzzle. Uh, Jason got totally burned the fuck up. Now his new little girlfriend is, uh, taking care of him. 11.15 a.m. on the Thursday, 3.366 inches. Oh, shit, I forgot I gotta kill somebody. That's right. Ethan. I say Jason. Jason's the kid. Ethan is who I'm tied. That's this guy. Uh, Ethan. Mars, everybody. Open the door, bitch! Missing my pinky and shit. Yeah. Hi. What do you want? I said a thousand times that I don't want any junkies in my If you want... Hey! Take it easy, man. Huh? Keep cool. <laughs> what do you want? Dope? Money? Tell me what you need. I'm sure we can make a deal, huh? God! I'm gonna blow your brain out, you son of a bitch! Oh shit, he's got a shotgun! to shoot his own house up. God damn it! Woo! Oh, fuck! God oh, damn! Knock over the books! Oh, shit! We really gotta shoot this guy. He doesn't have another round. No, it's not jammed. I give you whatever you want. Got well, dope? You cash? I don't want dope. I want my kid back, and you tried to kill me. Please don't kill me, man. He's got kids too. I got children. He's right. He does. My girls, see. This one, Sarah, and a little one. That's Cindy. Please, man. I want to see them again. Please, please don't. Shoot. Yeah, but what if I do? What if I don't shoot him? I can't shoot the guy. He's. he's... I'm a father too. But I'm no killer. But I'm no killer. Why does he sound like he's like Liam Neeson now? I'm no killer. He's got an accent now. I am a father too. He's Irish. Ethan went from just being a normal everyday. I'm no killer. I'm out to look for me boy. And he's, he's actually just, he's, he's just like a... He's a he's a pirate. I'm not a killer. There you go. <laughs> Back to Madison, who still has no relevance in this game. 132, 3.434 inches. I got your information. Uh, the owner of the apartment in Marble Street is a Dr. Adrian Baker. He's a struck-off surgeon. They used to sell drugs to junkies on the quad. Uh, he made some cash and bought up some cheap-ass apartments, including the one in Marble Street. Of course, he got caught. He did a few months in prison and was struck off the medical register. Interesting. Thanks for the information, Sam. I owe you one. Hey, Matt. Be careful, okay? I'm on it. Talk to you later. You know what? If somebody has the name Madison, don't call him Mad. That just sounds dumb. The owner of the apartment where Ethan cut off his finger lives here. It's not much of a lead, but it's all I've got. Excuse me! Would you like to stab my ass in these jeans? Oh, 
Oh my god, this guy looks like Hi. a pedophile. Uh, I was told that you could get the tropin. Without a prescription. Sorry, you were misinformed. Goodbye. Uh, hold on. I, I, I really need your help here. I can pay. Well, why didn't you say so? Please, come in. <clears throat> oh yeah, he's like staring at my ass. So, you're looking for Betropid, my dear? Are you having trouble sleeping? How much do you need? I don't know, um, about three, four boxes. Well, no, that shouldn't be a problem. Would you like a drink? I was just about to have one. No, I'm fine. No, thanks. Well, alcohol helps take the edge off the pills, don't you think? Anyway, we should drink a toast to our first deal. Ah, uh, the cringe. Uh, creepy old. This guy looks like an like a really like if Colin Mockery got even older, that would be him. And his voice got deeper, that'd be him. You know this motherfucker's gonna slip some shit in my drink. Come on, he's wearing a Hawaiian shirt and khakis. The guy's I a fucking pedo. Around here before. Who told you about me? Um. Hmm. I can't remember. My brain's fried with all these pills. Can't tell Dave from night half the time. Um. I heard you had some apartments for rent. I'm looking. Sorry, darling. Those are all booked up. Shame. I was looking for something around Marble Street. You're not drinking? Um... Fuck no. I am... Um, um, I'm, I'm not really thirsty. I'm on you, I'll Colin! It won't be a moment. I'm on you, Wait Colin Mockery, you fucking idiot. No, now just go to the sink. Here we go. The guy gives me the creeps. Get the... take a look around to see if I can find anything before he gets back. Okay, so grab the drink grab the drink, and let's go dump it. This is what I really want to see. The duck seems to be interested in property. Amongst other things. Looks like he retired a bunch of medical supplies on his way out. There's enough sleeping pills here to knock out an army. Told you. Sleeping pills, that's what he does. He puts them in your drink and he fucking tries to rape your ass. No, that makes sense. Can I just like sit back down or something? Stop performing operations. Oh God! Maybe he steals your organs. Nostalgia for the past. This desk over here. Blue Lagoon. I mean... <laughs> oh, 
Oh. Seriously? He's taking like a long ass fucking time. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm like, oh, well, I gotta search quick and you know make it quick and snappy, but don't worry, I just had to take a pee. I've like raided this guy's house. Got the answer to your sleeping problem Whew. right here. Oh shit! Sweet dreams, my dear. God damn it! You fucking smack me right upside the fucking head! Yeah, see, I told you. The dude was gonna. He drugged my drink! Ah. Say hello to Matthew. He claimed he had come to the census. Another one of those goddamn government spies. What? <clears throat> so, you're interested in my Marble Street apartment. I read it to my friend Paco, if you must know. I have no idea what he does there. Maybe that's where he fornicates with his dancers from the Blue Lagoon. <laughs> To be honest, I don't give a damn, just as long as he pays his rent, he can do whatever he likes. But, enough with the chit-chat. I miss surgery, you see, so I take every opportunity to practice. I don't have any instruments here. What else can so I do? I use whatever comes to hand. I hope you won't hold that against me. Hold up. Is my stinger. Oh, my God. Have you ever noticed as soon as you start to do a little housework, someone always comes calling? I'll get rid of our visitor and be right back. Don't move, I won't be long. Shut up! <laughs> Hit him! Smack him right in the fucking head! God damn! <laughs> Hit him with a shovel! Kill this fucking dude! Yeah. <laughs> 
Slice him! <laughs> Gotta get him with the saw, bro. There you go! Yeah! Draw him! <laughs> Drill him in the neck, just to be fucking sure. Holy shit. <laughs> Madison, a girl that still doesn't have any purpose. <laughs> Great, we're back to Dr. Crazy. I mean, Detective Crazy, sorry. 218, 3.50, two, two trophies for that, apparently. He seems to have made it out of his drug-induced coma. I don't know why I'd walk over there, I guess. Can you stop that thing? Hello, sir. Tom and Jaden, FBI. Can we talk for a minute? I'm listening. Can we <laughs> go inside? I'm listening. I'm looking for the owner of a blue Chevrolet Malibu 83. I don't give a damn how the car got here, whether you stole it or not. I just want to know who bought it from me. Sorry, man. Don't ring a bell. I got a real bad memory for me. Hmm. Perhaps I can help you to remember. If we find out that you sold the car to the man we're looking for, you know, we can hit some pretty solid time inside, Jackie boy. You trying to scam me with your big talk? I never saw your damn car. Now take a walk. Well then. I guess I'll have a look around then, huh? Fingerprints. Probably Mad Jacks. All right. Blood. Now, why is there blood here? I don't know. Let's find out, shall we? Bring your prince for Jack. All his tools, obviously. 
We have some footprints. Size 10. Most likely a visitor. Another set of footprints. Size 13. Must be Matt Jack's size. So, those should be his prints. Ooh. Tire marks. Hmm. <laughs> Not the car I'm looking for. Same brand of tire as the car I'm looking for. Has the killer's car been here? Gary, coming. Traces of orchid pollen in the air inside the garage. Oh boy. More Jack's tools. Nothing out of the ordinary, really. There was a car that was here. Few traces of blue paint, same tire tracks. No doubt about it. Killer's car was here. Yep, it was right there. Orchid pollen by it as well. More fingerprints. Along in the jack, of course. Okay. Another set of tire tracks, probably not the ones we're looking at. There's like no comment at all. Oh, more blood. The blood tracks lead to the acid bath. Of course they do, don't they? Ah! Oh bullshit, he was out what in the on your head, pig. I ain't got time to be playing around with you. Let's just get you out of sight and finish you off. Oh boy. Oh no, my glasses! Shoot that son of a bitch! Enough fucking around! Now you're gonna tell me about the man with the blue car! Go fuck yourself in the ass!
broke my fucking nose, pig. Yeah. Next, I I'm did. gonna blow a hole in your face. Spill all of it. You don't scare me, Mr. CSI. You ain't got it in you. Do you like fireworks, Jack? Cause I bet them gas tanks are gonna blow up real nice. Shit, man, don't mess with the gasoline. Well, just say it was an accident. Or rather, I'll say it was an accident, cause you won't really be able to talk, will ya, Jack? What crazy motherfucker, you out of your mind, man! No, well then. I know nothing about the guy. He wanted me to get rid of his dirty car, get him a new one with false plates. He paid cash, and I ain't the questioning kind. He said I was supposed to drop the word to a guy named Paco down at the Blue Lagoon when the car was done. Now that's all I know. We'll continue this discussion down at the station. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything. Oh shit. Shit, not now. Anything you say can and will be. Hey. <laughs> you look like you got a problem, man. They letting you dope heads in the FBI now? God bless America. <clears throat> now I'm gonna give you a little help with your drug problem, Mr. Five-O. Permanently. Oh shit. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh boy. Uh Oh boy. Oh shit. Get out of there. Oh, come on. Shoot to shoot this guy. I got those butt mashing skills, you can't fuck with me. Oh, 
Oh shit! See you later, bitch! Nice. He's just a pile of goo now. Two heavy action scenes in a row. Look at that. <laughs> Great, we're back to Detective Fat Fuck. Bye, Mad Jack. I'm sure there's a ch I, I know that characters can just die, so I'm sure that there was achievements for just letting Madison and the detective die. Great. These fucking two. I hate both of them. So, you think the origami killer killed Manfred? That makes sense. Didn't want him spilling his guts to us. And you suspect Gordy Kramer, right? Oh, him or one of his men. Gordy has the time and the means, not to mention the fucked up attitude to go along with it. He's only a suspect, but he's a pretty guilty looking one. Are these your files on the case? Yeah, I've been working on them for a couple of years. Uh, I built up a mountain of paperwork. Magazines about origami? You think the killer could have subscribed to one of those? If he was even remotely interested in origami in the last 30 years, his name may be in there somewhere. Trouble is, there's over 500 names. I guess a squat. Sit in my good I'm chair. I'm starving. Do you have anything to eat? Oh, uh, no, chef. But I should be able to make some scrambled eggs if you like. Guess right. I'll just get up. I'm soaking wet. I need to warm up a little. Is it okay if I take a shower? I'll be my guest. Go to my bedroom. It's the next door. Oh, I'll cook up the eggs while you're under the shower. Great. Now I'm the fucking cook. That egg going in the pan sounded so gross. <laughs> oh, thank God I'm making scrambled eggs. You gotta keep stirring them. You can't just let them sit. Should be ready by now. <laughs> you didn't even use any butter or anything. How'd they just come out of there so well? Those things would have stuck to the pan like a sun bitch. Doesn't even look like scrambled eggs. Looks like a like an egg pancake. I took the liberty of borrowing your bathrobe. Looks better on you. Ah! Hey, that almost looks good enough to eat. I mean, what's, what's the that? idea? The notebook I took from Manfred's place. According to this, about 30 clients bought spare parts for royal machines in the last 10 years. The killer may be one of them. Oh, you know, checking out the alibi of 30 clients one by one. That's a lot of legwork. Except that if we cross-check them with the list. The list of subscribers to Origami Magazines. You still got that, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Lauren, wait. Bitch doesn't even want her eggs. I'm gonna kick your ass. I made those eggs, bitch. really used 
a royal typewriter, and if he subscribed to an origami magazine, his name should be on both lists. Well, Lauren, I, I mean, that's just an assumption, but yeah, I suppose. His name is here somewhere. Help me, we're gonna find him. Yeah, with the eggs, though. The fucking eggs. Here, have some booze. They would eat anything. <laughs> fucking please, she is with herself. I'm a junior detective. The only guy whose name was on both lists died when he was 10. <laughs> what are you gonna do now? Pick up his coffin, make sure he's dead? I know it doesn't make any sense. Unless the killer was only using his name. But why use the name of a kid who died 30 years ago? Well, that's what we came to find out. The name is John Shepard. It should be on a grave what? here somewhere. John Shepard! You never give up, do ya? Whoa. John, uh, motherfucking Shepard. The guy wasn't even born yet. What are you talking about? I guess we're just gonna wander around. Children plot? That seems a little morbid. There's a lot of fucking P Jerry Hernandez. There's a lot of people here. Bad, bad Theodore Brown. Baddest man in the whole damn town. Excuse me. I'm looking for the grave of a young boy who died about 30 years ago. His name is John Shepard. You wouldn't know where it is by any chance. The children's graves are in the next plot. Thanks. I told you, bro. That's where I'm at. Bernard Harris. Children plot. See, there, it's gonna be somewhere here. Uh, is that one like blank? Vicky Mitch. Stanley Martin. Anita Hill. Rogers. Nicholas Wilson Jill Collins Jimmy Williams <laughs> Tom Taylor I think I can speak to this broad about Well then, well what? He was 10. 67 to 77. There's an or origami figure. figure here. That's one hell of a coincidence. No shit. There's some flowers, though. These flowers are fresh. Looks like someone's still tending the grave. Go talk to that guy oh, digging one. Youngin. Oh, that one I knew well. You knew John Shepard? That I did. Yard nearly all my life. I remember what happened. It was in '77, October, I think. Flashback. Drunk again. What are we gonna do? It's pouring rain. Who's the other kid? So do we spend a day outside? Well, this won't get beat. The rain never hurt nobody. 
Come on, let's go I mean, play. but a lot of rain can kill you. Because you get pneumonias. You get the pneumonias, kid! Bitch can't catch me! <laughs> catch you! I'm gonna... Is this gonna be like Batman Begins? I'm gonna fall in a well. Why do we fall, Bruce? Oh! Uh, fuck yeah. I don't know which kid is which. I'm supposed to hit X repeatedly. Come on, kid. I don't know which one is John Chipper, but... I wonder who the other kid is. You little bastard. Uh, we probably shouldn't play in the rhubarb park. Let's not say we did. I'm waiting. Well, sorry, man. It's the controller. Come on. Do it left and right. You do it left and right with this. Gee, you're nothing but a slow poke. Yeah, ain't nothing but a slow poke. Watch, I'll follow you for him. Bet you I can, you little bastard. Just give me some button presses. Move your ass, I'm waiting. Move your ass. You know this? I don't know if we're friends or brothers, but this kid's a dickhead. Jeez, you're nothing but a. Jeez, you're nothing but a slow. What? No, stop being a like a real dick. What you doing? You're coming or not? I bet the kid I'm playing as right now is the kid. I bet I am John Shepard. You shouldn't play in construction sites. Uh oh. And you shouldn't slide down those things either. No, John is the kid in front of us. Okay. Oh. 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 This is a freaky ass control.
Yo! Nice. My friend thinks I'm cool, bro. Let's play hide and seek. You go and count to 20 and try to find me, okay? Oh, man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, you cheat. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I'll play fair. Oh, God, I, I have a feeling. Oh, he's gonna drown. It's the other kid, the kid we're playing as, the serial killer! Give him a good old yank. find any help. Jesus. His brother drowned. Park full of rainwater. Fuck. The boy that lived. What happened to him? Well, all I know is he got separated from his parents. I, I think he got adopted. Well, looks like a storm's coming. Shit. Well, there is a storm already like here, storm. idiot. It's already raining. Big bullshitter. Christ, what a horrible story. Tell me about it. John Shepard drowned in the rain while holding his brother's hand. Do you think he he could be the origami killer? Yeah. I Come mean, on. let's get back in the car. That's the mo, brother. Oh, look at this suspicious ass looking motherfucker. Are you the killer? Just yell at people as they come out. I have, I have a, I have an idea of who the killer is. What's oh. the matter? Shit. That man over there. Oh. Fuck. Yeah. It's the dude. Gordy's father. What's he doing? He's going straight to John Shepard. No. Putting flowers on John Shepard's grave. He was probably the dad. He yeah, he, he was probably the dad. He's not the killer. He's he's not. I have I have a theory as to who the killer is. I'm not gonna divulge that right I'm not gonna divulge that right now. Divulge that right now. Back to useless Madison. Oh shit. Thursday, 11.03. 4.216 inches. Oh fuck yeah, the music's tight. It's like the beginning of Blade. Except there's no blood. Paco Mendez. He's the guy who rented the Doc's apartment on Marble Street. Better be careful. Oh yeah, I'm looking hot. 
No, I, I, like I said, I have a feeling I know who the killer is. And it's, it's, it's from a little, it's from something I, I noticed, a very little small thing that I noticed. Oh, this music's tight. Oh my god. See that dude in the fucking zebra, zebra jacket? That's him. That is Paco fucking Mendez if I ever seen him. That is a Paco. Told ya! See? What if I buy Mr. Mendez a fucking drink? I'm stuck. Paco seems to like his girl sexy. Sexy in a kind of dumb way. Well, then let's be sexy in a kind of dumb way. I gotta, I gotta get up on something and dance. Yo, I love this this track that's playing right now. Get me on top of that fucking bar, brother. Pardon me, sir! Think I can dance on the bar? Like, I need to get in within, like, I need him to see me. Christ. Yep, there we go. I knew it. No, Madison, get back on. That's because you need to go dance on that big one. Because you need to dance on this one. You need to get on this one. 
Yes, you dumbass. I know what I need to do! Just get on there! Uh, see, because it's like he, he's looking right here. Maybe if I go dance with these other girls. No. Uh, I need to do something outlandish, like get on that bar. No options to do anything. people sucks. If I go over here... Let's see if there's something over here that I can... These girls here. Those guys are just making out. Okay. Time to play the sexy girl. Oh, I do some makeup. Oh yeah. I'd button the top. Mess up your hair a little bit. Be a little bit more. I don't know what the other stuff was. Lipstick. Yep. I can't believe I'm doing makeup right now. Oh shit! Uh, there we go. Damn. Yeah, make sure your piece is loaded because this dude is looking for trouble. All right. Now we're looking a bit like like a slut. Got it. All you gotta do, slut it up just a little bit. Make yourself look super hot. 
then we dance. Excuse me. Oh yeah, he's looking. Ah! <laughs> I fell! Alright, let's not fuck this up. Oh shit, that music's... My track's back! Fuck yeah, dude, my track is back! Hey, you! Yeah! It's your lucky day, sweetheart. The boss wants to invite you to his table. Fuck yeah! Oh shit, we're gonna be going up the stairs. Yeah, you have a thing for zebra print. I got a friend who has a thing for cheetah print. Oh my god. Shit. So, show me what you can do. Take it all. Slowly. Take it all off. Uh, could could I have a drink? You know, just a little drink to break the ice. Oh, we already broke the ice. Let's get wet. Come on, do your thing, girl. Uh, could could we just talk first? Oh, no. We don't need any more talking. I all talk talk. Show me what you can do. I'm sorry. Um, I, I think there's been a little misunderstanding. Look, look uh, I I'll just go. No harm done. Another time. I think it is you who have misunderstood, honey. I'm tired of wasting my time. It's now or never. I never take no for an answer. <laughs> we need to get the gun. Just like that. For 
lamp. If only I could find some way to grab it. Oh, I know. There we go. Bend over for him. Baby sweet cakes. You got it going on. That's what I call kicking butt. You go, girl. I'll take his gun. Tie him up to the. Yeah, there we go. I was, say, I was hoping there was going to be some tape. Okay, act two. Let's hear Loverboy sing. Come on. Ah. <laughs> Wake up, Paco. Hello. If you call out, I'll kill you. Got it? Shit. What you want? You rent an apartment on Marble Street. I want to know why. An apartment? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, then, um... <laughs> Not bad for a chica, but you only hurt my feelings a little bit, mama. I'm gonna with the gun. You fucking bitch! I'm gonna kill you! Boss? Is everything alright? Was like, if you value those prize balls, wow, balls, Paco, then it's time for you to talk. Oh, ah, what you doing? Stop it! Stop it! You talk? Oh, ah, what you doing? Stop it! Stop it! I'm only getting started. How about some more? Put in that apartment. Give the keys to some guy. He said he needed a place. He had money. What was that guy's name? I, I don't know his name. I swear. Oh, ah. Damn it. What? He's dead. Yeah, the, what? Wasn't so hard, was it? I really appreciated this romantic moment, but I got a dash. See you next time, lover boy. Get out of here. I've got a massive headache. All right. There we go. Back to Detective Crazy. All right, well, we're gonna call it there for today. Oh, <laughs> nah, nah, he's coming back. The music's starting again. Holy shit. Uh, we're gonna 
Call it there. I will see you guys on the next part. Thank you all for joining me. Goodbye.